The, all the businesses got started, started with, they all started with my son, okay? They started with getting him to live the life that I've lived, of freedom, and being your own boss. Okay. And be uh, he graduated uh, school as a mechanical engineer, okay? And, um, and so in, while he was in school, he created this, this invention, him and his, his team. And he showed it to me, and I was like, wow, that's great. I said, how can you, um, I said, what are you gonna do with it? He's like, I don't know, you know, give it to the school or something. I was like, why don't you just do it yourself, create it yourself. And so, but those guys, they graduated, went on their, their own lives, they're all over, they're scattered. They're all computer scientists, engineers and everything. And they're all doing well. They're all making oodles of money. But my son decided to, you know, I said, hey, hang with me. Don't, don't go out there yet. Just come on and let's have fun, some fun with me, play with your dad, you know what I mean? And he's like, cool. And I said, I know a couple of guys that can help us and da da da. And I said, you know, guess what? I could start the company and we can go get the, try to get the patent. This will be fun exercise between you and I. And, and he said, he said, okay, let's, let's do it. He says, okay, we gotta, we gotta, I wanna be a partner though. I said, that's oh, fine. So he, um, he owns 10% uh, of the company called Jack Innovations. So I said, I said one, one stipulation, go, everything goes back to BAM, unfortunately. <laughs> See, I said, you gotta help me out with BAM in the afternoons. And he said, okay, I'll do that. But what we did was, um, I said, you know what, um, I like construction. I said, I'm gonna start a construction company while these guys do their thing. So I'm gonna go and study for the MIT, MHIC license to get that. And then I said, um, all right, I'm gonna start a company, Jack Construction, which is Jack Resources. I don't do a lot, it's just a hobby, but it's fun, you know? Um, but now that hobby has turned into a, a uh, you know, full-time uh, full job because um, it's come full circle now. We've learned a lot, and now we're going to expand that into building Naima's buildings. All these companies, except for Jack Innovations, okay, all have something that intertwines with the other. Naima's there. Um, and that's the, the projects, the housing um, development that we have. Okay, that's Joe White Street and Clay Street. And we want to do a project, demolish the buildings, existing, they're old, and uh, so we said we're going to do a demo work and build the whole new, well, Jack Construction is going to build the Naima project. Again, all separate entities, but they all work with each other. Then um, I have Polaris. So Polaris is the, uh, is the ministry, and we're building the church. So now Jack is gonna build the church, okay? Naima's gonna help fund building the church for Polaris, okay? Polaris is then going to help Naima uh, subsidize some of the rent that Naima is going to charge, okay? So therefore, we have this nonprofit entity that allows people from the community to come in and support their community. Then you have BAM. So you got Jack and BAM together because Jack is going to help build the academic center. So now you have Aspire and Jack teaming up together and Aspire is going to be, um, you know, in, in theory, it's still not fully developed and, and we still have to figure out, you know, what we can do over there. Um, but we're trying to do maybe some luxury apartments, um, you know, that fits the neighborhood. Um, we have a lot of area we can create trails and, um, you know, little campsites and things like that uh, for our residents. So, um, it would be almost like you're at a resort. Uh, there's always fear, okay? And the difference between myself and a lot of people is that 
my parents always sheltered me from that fear. You know, they, they were like, go ahead, run. You know, go do, I mean, again, it goes back to my, and I have to give that to my mother. I mean, I played the piano, the trumpet. I, I played basketball. I, I did everything you can think of. My mother sent me away every summer to a college or someplace I've been, I mean, she shipped me away. I'm crying and she's like, no, you're going, boom. I don't know anybody, nope, boom, bang. I've been blessed. I've had so many wonderful people, so many people that whatever they saw in me, they're like, okay, there's something in you. We're gonna support you. Um, All the way to my father, give me the loan, to Jim Clark, a billionaire, uh, Bill Hunter, you know, multimillionaire. Bill Ryan, a multimillionaire. Uh, and they're, you know, entrepreneurs in their own right. And so maybe that's what it is, that we can see each other, we know each other. You know, having great support, having someone I can bounce things off, and that's my wife. I mean, and she brings so much knowledge to the table. She's the one that vets everything. So every crazy idea I may come up with, it's vetted by her. So that means if I can get through her, the chances of it being successful are very good.